<laughs> Hello, YouTube. Okay, so here's the deal. Last week we played the. <laughs> we're, we're getting pretty pretty specific here. We played the interactive sampler CD for Final Fantasy VII, which came with Toe Ball Number One. But there is the SquareSoft. Uh, I guess you would call it a demo disc which might be slightly different than the last one. So we're going to check it out, and we're going to see if it reads first, which I would like it if it did. Okay. Okay, it's starting out with... Uh, okay. It's the same... It's No, it's different. It's a different one. Okay. So this is starting out with Descend Descendants of Shinobi, the song. Why do I know the name of this? The nerd. So the main reason we bought this is that we thought this had a Saga Frontier playable demo, but it seemed like it was the same movie. Wait. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna save that for... Let's watch the... Let's watch the movie for Final Fantasy Tactics first. This was also on the last one, so it's probably the same. If it's slightly different, I'll be happy. I don't think this... No, dude, this is definitely different. Because remember the last one was like 10 seconds long and it just showed some like like gameplay only? So this is definitely different. Now watching watching movies for games that came out 20 years ago is about as kino as you can get, I think. I'd like to say so. Oh, what do you think Final Fantasy Tactics is going to be like? It's going to be literally the best strategy RPG game ever made. Tactical RPG game. Um, it's a shame that, uh, it's a shame I just don't like tactical RPGs. Like, I've me, tried. For me, it's like, it's a genre that, once you play one, you played most of them. And I really do like the original Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Tactics. I think it's a great game. And then I played, like, one of the better Fire Emblem games. And then you're like, I'm kind of done with the genre. Like, I don't know. They keep making Fire Emblem games, I keep buying them, and I play them for 30 minutes, I'm like, oh, it's Fire Emblem. <laughs> there's certain, um, it's, there's it's... certain genres that I feel are like that. Another one that I kind of feel the same way about, you know, for the most part, is, like, side-scrolling shooters. Yes, yeah, some are bad, some are good, but, like, really, if you've played, like, one type of side-scrolling shooter, you've, like, played most yeah. of them. It, there, that's definitely a reason why the genre died out. There were so many of them and all of them were so similar. So yeah, this is definitely different. This is yeah. way longer than the last one. So that gives me hope for the, uh... That gives me hope for the uh, Saga Frontier one being different. And I'm gonna point out that to the best of my ability, any, uh... Any differences from, like, the final game. So we'll see. Watch it be, like, ten seconds long. So it's like... Alright, so Bushido Blade is a demo. Should I play that first and then do Soccer Frontier? <laughs> Who cares about Bushido Blade? Give it a try for five seconds. I'm not even bothering to pull out an extra controller. Yeah, I, I've played this game like the actual game. And it's like, yep, it's early PS1 3D fighting game. It's awkward and bad. Also, um, for what it's worth, we've probably had this exact demo disc come in like four or five times to the store. What? Okay, no sound effects. Man, it is crazy that they even bother, like, translating anything. Alright. What is going on? Did... Did I enter, like... Did I enter another dimension? <laughs> oh, wow, this is definitely a demo. Holy crap, it doesn't even have a HUD? Oh my god. This guy, okay. Which one? The left one? The left one, apparently. <laughs> okay. He's dead. Poya! One hit can kill him. I love that bird sound effect. The, the. It's in like so many games, and I have no idea what bird is supposed to be. Well, I've never seen a more bare bones demo in my life. Yeah, holy crap. Oh, did I? Do I have to be right next to him for it to load up again? Or is he just dead? That is insane how bare bones. See ya! This is, this is like a, a 
alpha like version of the game. <laughs> don't teach don't teach me how to run, because I'm just gonna run the whole way around. Where do I exit to a better game? Here? Can you actually strike that? Well, I don't think it's actually possible. <laughs> nope. Don't really Alright. Are you serious? Yo. <laughs> so. <laughs> just reset. You literally have to reset? Like, are you serious? God, it's like they had nothing and they were just like... <laughs> it does have six playable characters, at least. But how do I go back to pick another just, character? It just push reset. Wait, but I don't understand the rules of this. Like, sometimes I die in one hit and sometimes I die in ten hits. I don't know, who cares? This game sucks. Oh my god, this is the worst demo I've ever played. <laughs> I'm so... Like, I honestly. That was god-awful. And you can't... Alright, see you next time. No, we're gonna... So, yeah, we knew that was gonna be bad. So we'll watch the Soccer Frontier one next, and then we will maybe check out the FF7 one. Like, we'll start it, and yeah, we'll, we'll see... check out the first minute to see if it's the same. Because I, I already did the whole FF7 um, demo from the Tobol number 1 CD. So I just kind of want to be a nerd and see if they have any slight differences. I have a feeling it's going to be the exact same thing. Yeah. Although the fact that the Final Fantasy Tactics one was more, and Bushido Blade is playable, with a big asterisk, playable. Like, what, like, okay, what if it was, like, 1997, and, like, you played that as a demo? Would that be, would a kid be like, oh, I really want that game now. Right? Like, there's no way. There is no way. <laughs> Please don't be the exact same. Please at least give me 30 seconds more of stuff. I think it's different. I, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's different. Yes. Okay. Fricky. Yep. Yeah, this does look different. I guess one of the problems is that if this is very similar to the actual release version, it's not going to be anything interesting. Right. Okay, so we're yeah, just... Yeah, this, this is definitely different. Just showed Ricky's sure. quest, got it. And it looks nice. This is pretty much exactly what it looks like. Alright. <laughs> the logo again. Okay, now we're doing T260's quest. Kind of odd scenes to be showing. Okay, T260 just walking around in scrap. Alright. And then... Him recruiting characters. <laughs> recruiting Mei Ling. <laughs> Alright. Uh. I mean, that's. No, that's about the same. That's starting Blue's quest. It's like they took the game and they just started each quest and played like 10 minutes of it and was like, that's fine. Like, seriously, not even any battles so far? This is like the worst teaser trailer of all time. Also, like, the mood. Like, the music is for, like, battle. And it's amazing. The music is amazing. But this is not, this doesn't set up for, like, what's happening on screen. Yeah, not at all. Like, I would rather hear Descendants of Shinobi with this. It would, it would suit better. Okay, and Red's talking to the uh, space magic person. Now they're in Nelson, the place that's not even necessary, and Shing Rao. This Yorkland has a point. What is this? <laughs> Where's the battles? Where's I the spent 20 thing? bucks yeah. on this! <laughs> Here we go! Alright! What is this? Hey, he's using Dark Pulse or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. He blew out a sword? Why? Phantasm shot. Uh, T260, you use some sort of missile thing. Are you gonna turn into a monster? Alright. Wait, you can get. Wait, what? That, that had Asilus, blue, red. Oh, did you see Gen's sprite was different? Yeah! But then also, when would you ever have red and blue? Yeah, that's true. Or maybe it's at the very end of the game, when when you... No, you can't. Because you only have, like, one party, right? You can't just get, like, red and blue or whatever. No, yeah, it's, uh... Whatever, whatever your last party is. Yeah. Okay, so that's unique. I mean, you would never have a party of red, blue, Amelia, T260G... Yeah. The only discrepancies we saw the entire one was Gen's sprite was slightly different. Yeah. 
and you had blue and red. All right, gray. well, I spent 20 bucks on this disc, so <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> I guess we'll check out the FF7 one. I am. I appreciate it, but like, I really, 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 really wanted. Does this have a movie? No. Just gotta see what they say for controls. Dude, is it gonna be like a video to show the controls? That'd be so based. Or what if it just loads forever? All right. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I have a feeling this is like yeah. the exact same. It looks very similar. All right, we'll give it a second. Uh, back is starting. Got it. Um. Yeah, I like when I read it. I'm I'm an idiot because it was like with playable demos of FF7 and Bushido Blade, and then in really tiny text it was like and movies of Saga Frontier and FF7. The whole reason I bought it is because I was like a demo of Saga Frontier, and I was very excited. And I think I think instead of t spending twenty bucks on this, I need to spend twenty bucks on learning how to read. Yeah, and I mean I want to be clear. I would have bought it anyway. Because it's FF7 related, and I would have, like, I've won... Um, what I was saying before is probably four or five times this disc has came into the store, and every time, even though we buff it on, like, you know, full getting all the scratches and everything out, literally every single time it didn't work. It was like a running joke between me and George. It would, like, come in in a pile of discs, and we'd be like, FF7 demo, yeah! And then we tried, and it just wouldn't work, and I was like, all right, I guess I'll never be able to play the FF7 demo. Yeah, and the reason why we are so frantic in playing, like, a demo version of Saga Frontier is that, that that game is infamous for having so much cut content, and even, like, months before release, looking completely different than the final build of the game. I guess, uh... So, so finding any, like, recently, like, to date ourselves, like, within this week, someone found a early Ocarina of Time uh, tech demo on F-Zero Kart. Wow. Um, which is cool. But if someone found a tech demo build of Soccer Frontier, oh. I'd be ten times more excited. Oh. And no one else would care. Yeah, no one else would care. Um, I actually got I'll look that up later tonight if there was, like, ever a disc. Because Squaresoft was known for having, in a lot of games, Brave Friends with Musashi had a, had a demo disc with a FF7? No, FF8? Did it have a... No. I think Brave Friends with Musashi had FF8 on it. Whatever. Yeah, I, I think right. Xenogears might have had a demo disc. Anyway, whatever. So, uh, Square was pretty f famous for putting out a lot of those, and I'm like, does one of them have a Saga, Fr uh, Saga Frontier stinking demo on it? I think Parasite Eve might have had some sort of demo disc. Yeah, like... Parasite Eve has one with it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out if uh, anyone had it. That'd be so awesome. And as literally my favorite game ever, it would be awesome. So yeah, this looks exactly to be the same. We'll try it for like a minute or two, and then just call it apart, because I'm not going to go through this whole 25-minute demo yeah, no. to be like... Check the menu immediately to see if the sprites or uh, oh, purchase yeah. different. Uh, can we just say FF7 soundtrack? It's okay, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> it's like one of the only soundtracks I pick over Soccer Frontier, which I absolutely love. But FF7 soundtrack. Come on, newcomer. Yeah, so no... So let's see. Last last one we did had... This would just be normally just Cloud. It'd be... Ooh, it's different. Oh, it is different. We uh, have Tifa. The, yeah, the last uh, wow. build... The last build had Barrett and Eris. She has Neo Bahamut? <laughs> All right, we're going to we're gonna do this. <laughs> oh, my God. Bolt 3, Ice 3. I Life 2. I can't believe it's different. It's like way different. Yeah, this is... And we noticed, like, the the earlier build we were playing uh, had way different sound effects. This one's much more similar to the actual, like, I, I think game. that this came out a lot after because it has more content than the other one. Alright, so we're gonna see if any of these look any different. I have a feeling not. That looks pretty similar. This looks very much like a final build yeah. sort of thing. Alright, so let's see what these character, uh... Oh, yeah, that's... The final build. That's the final build, yeah. Tifa's at level 2. Interesting. Are there any characters that you get that are less than level 6 in the final game? No. I think it's 7. I think 7's where they start. I thought Cloud starts at 6 and then immediately goes to 7. That might be I... it. Not every day find one. Uh, yeah, this is way more close to the actual build. Even, even how the, um... Even how the uh, text boxes look the, yeah. uh, the same is like the, very similar. The font that they used in the earlier build was also different. different from this. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I'm gonna go and uh, see if Guard Scorpion's here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, YouTube land. Because last one, it wasn't Guard Scorpion. And that's no normally where you would find out Barrett's name. Um, but last one, you just fought, like, a generic, like, bad guy. It's interesting. Oh, and also... Oh, uh, yeah, we have to see. We have to see if, uh... If Biggs and Wedge are in the normal spot they are. I have a feeling they will be. Yeah. I'm sorry, not Biggs and Wedge. Jesse and, and Biggs. Yeah, because Wedge stays out here. Da, 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 da. Do I have Barrett? I don't have Barrett yet. Interesting. Alright, so Cloud, we're gonna use. I'm just gonna try Bolt 3. See if that looks any different. Yeah, even though you don't have Eris, uh, you're at a huge advantage because uh, you have Mew, Bahamut, and. Uh... I also. And that's exactly the same. So I have a feeling this is really, really close to the actual build. Um. What was I gonna say? Uh. It's really weird that... So they have two versions of, of the demo, right? And they give you two... They give you a summon in each of them. And I understand why. It's to show you, like, you know, the graphics and all that. No. He did work for Shinra, you know? That's because he was soldier first class. Don't forget. This is me. I'm not here for a lecture. I like my up right now. Can you check the menu yet? Yeah. Nope. No menu. Oh, you got that. I don't think that was in the other one. I don't think so. Code deciphered. I uh, say, for a game that came out, like... FF7 came out, like, January 97, yes. so it was pretty early. But uh, it was very forward-thinking to have that, um, that pointer icon on you. Oh, I love it. It is so nice. There's sometimes where, like, I'm even playing a game like Saga Frontier, and I'm like, I really, really wish it had that icon. It's not my problem. I love Cloud so much. The planet's dying, Cloud! The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the rubber guards come. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the remake does a pretty good job. I wish he was, like, a little more deadpan yeah. in the remake. Like, he's a little bit more like he's definitely fine like feelsy i guess honestly when i was going to the remake my mindset was uh thinking it was going to be like avon children or like kingdom hearts and not even like, close luckily thank god they did not do like kingdom hearts yeah he's awful in kingdom hearts but all right let's see what barrack has this is so close oh Tell oh you. yeah let's go ahead and use effort I was gonna say, it's funny how the two they give you are freaking Leviathan and Neo Bahamut, but it's like, okay, they actually give you Ifrit. I'm like, they have to have one of, Sh of Shiva or Ifrit. Yeah, this is like exactly the same. That's really cool. Like, this is. It goes to show you from like the beta build and they had in Tobol to like this is like. This is legit, like FF FF7. So yeah, I have a feeling this will be a uh, guard score. I wonder when exactly Tobol came out. That's a good question. Also compared to like when FF7 came out in like Japan, you know? Came out August 2nd or September 30th, 1996. Um, Interesting. August in Japan and uh, September in North America. So that build was at max only about five months old. Uh, in Tobol. So this one was like only a few months newer and it's that much different. That's wow. crazy. This might have, you know, there's a chance that this might have even, alright. Yo, they made a sequel, Tobol 2, and it never came out anywhere except for Japan. Yep. There's a chance that uh, this came out after the game came out, if you think about it. Like, it, it definitely seems like it is, like, basically a complete version of it. I could see that. Like, back then, you know, with the internet not being really a thing, like, I could see them being, like, the game's out, and, yeah, there's word of mouth and all that, but I could see them being like, hey, here's this demo disc, send it to all stores, you know, and just, like, give it out or whatever. And, like, I cannot possibly see, if you're a fan of RPGs, not playing this and being like, uh, why don't I have this game yet, you know? 
I don't know if I'm gonna finish. I might just get to because this is clearly yeah. I'm just get the guard scorpion. I'm gonna get the guard scorpion and see Neo Bahamut, but um, uh, this is definitely like really close. Oh, I'm curious to see if uh, no in, counters, baby. In the first in the first uh, version, uh, he didn't hear the voice in his head. So what's oh, yeah. this? Store material. Do you, know you already have life too. It's like you don't need it. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it, foo! <laughs> That's me. Yeah! yeah this go. did not happen in the other version. I also, at, at all these years, don't like know who was talking to him. Like, knowing everything I know about the game and the story, I'm yeah, like, who was talking to him? It's like a warning. Was it like... What was it? Was it like yeah. his inner self or I whatever? mean, obviously he has the Genova cells in him. Also, what does this isn't just a reactor mean? Okay, so no, uh... No actual... Ah, there's Guard Scorpion. No actual music. Um, isn't this the right music? They don't do the... Keep... Whatever that song is called. Keep on fighting? Really? They don't do that until um, the sewer boss. Oh. It's pretty late. Interesting. Locked on target. All right, let's, let's see Giga Flare. Imagine. Yeah! Uh, Guard Scorpion. I also love that that Tifa is Tifa. <laughs> Sorry, I've been playing the remake too much. Um, I love how she has 200-something MP at level 4. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, eh, no big deal. Using Neo Bahamut against a Guard Scorpion, not a big deal. Like, I'm sure you could, like, cheat the game and have, like, KOTOR against it, but it's still really funny to see. Yeah. Eh, eh, and yeah. considering her stats, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes only, like, oh, it 500. It, oh, I guess that is true. I was going to say, it's going to take, like, most of the MP. Anger of the Land. I think that's the same... Theme, but it might it might be slightly modified. Yeah. But once you get to a point, you never use summons. <laughs> yeah. Seven. It's literally you use Kotor or nothing. Oh my god. Base pit. I guess. We'll just beat him and see what happens. Do you have a... Uh, yeah, you first. Ooh, this looks different. Does it? I think so. Yeah, I guess it looks slightly different. I don't think it normally has... I think it's normally just uh, one one column. I might be wrong. It's been a while. I don't know. She just bolt three of them. Yeah, just kill it. Yeah, the only thing I want to see is if it... Uh... Oh my god! Rest in peace, Guard Scorpion. I just want to see if it starts the actual countdown. Because in the other one, it did not have... It had a countdown, but you didn't see it. Assault gun. I like how you still get something you can't even use. Ten minutes, isn't it? Twenty? So, I don't know. No, I'm thinking of something different. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, this is like basically... Yep. This is basically the same thing. So that's it, guys. Uh, pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see this, the comparison of this one to the, uh, one we played last week. Yeah, so. check out, uh, Tobal. Did the game just freeze? No, I paused oh, it. Okay. I, I made it a separate video, so it's just called the Interactive, uh, Sampler Disc. So oh, okay. that is a separate video from Tobal, so. You will find it other, uh, under other Let's Play videos. Yeah, check that like out. That, that is a very interesting build of FF7. All right. Okay. See you next time, guys. Maybe we'll have some more demos of FF7 that we can nitpick. <laughs> see you guys.